Hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I have Sister Chic Lacquer Moulin Rouge and Paris Nights. I'm a water marble with them. I started with Starting Over by American Classics as my base coat. And here is Sister Chic's Moulin Rouge. And we're going to use that as our base color for this water marble today. I'm just going to do one easy breezy coat of this. It's just so... I mean, it's opaque. On these short nails, for sure, one coat's all I needed. Especially since I'm going to water marble over them. I am trying to cap my free edge here. <laughs> and there we go. I am going to use the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat over the top of this so it can dry down really well before I do the water marble. I did say when I um, reviewed these polishes that I would see if they would water marble. So I have my IMK Protect Peel on, and I'll be using Moulin Rouge and this here Paris Nights to water marble. I put my first drop in and run my toothpick around the cup to spread the polishes to the edge. And now I'm going to start going in with the other rings. Now I am having to tap the side of the cup to get it to spread a little better, but that's not unusual. Um, and the black seems to spread really well. So I'm just going to build up a little bullseye, and I am doing some tapping. I will tell you that these definitely do water marble. I got all five fingertips done, um, but you, you kind of need to work fast with them. I'm not dragging all the way to the outer edge of the cut because it is starting to dry on that outer ring. But look how pretty. So I am going to dip down in. And I'm going to hold the cup with my fingertip and my thumb, kind of pinching it there to hold it so I don't knock it over. I'm using my toothpick to go around and pick up the excess polish off the top of the water so that when I pull my finger out, I don't have, you know, unwanted parts of it on my, on my nail. So there we go. And look how good. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm going to take another toothpick and run around the edge of my nail just to break that seal. Um, I always do this so that when I pull the latex up, it doesn't pull the um, design off of my nail. I have had that happen before. So there we go. Easy and nice. So there we go. We're going to do this again. Just drop, drop, drop. Dip, dip, dip. You know. Tap, tap, tap. I've got a lot of things going on here today. But I am just going to build up another bullseye. And I'm going to continue doing this to all of my nails. But I did want to show you all that this one, these, these ones, these ones here do water marble. And, um, and I also hope that maybe kind of getting a little information for polishes that seem to want a water marble but you can't quite get it. Doing the tapping definitely helps. Working quickly helps. And, uh, you know, you're not just going to build a great big bullseye, but for these short nails, I didn't need a big bullseye. So that works, that works out just fine. Some polishes won't spread at all when they hit the water. So, you know, I was really happy to see that these did. So there we go. We got three nails done. I'm going to do this fourth one, my ring finger. get on with it. Now I can tell you that I did this water marble and this manicure and and I really kind of thought I was done. I put my top cut on and wandered off and um, worked for a few hours and I just kept looking at it and I just, I just decided I wanted to play a little bit more. So you know if you want to do this you could end the manicure with just the water marble part and it's and it's fine like that. It's pretty all on its own. Or you can do like me and just go, you know, hog wild and um, go overboard and uh, do what I do at the end of it. So I did include all of the footage of, um, you know, both parts. I, I, well, I didn't, not all of the footage, but I, I included footage from both parts of the manicure. And like I said, you could stop it at the water marble or you could go crazy like I did. So there we go. We've got one more to do. Running that toothpick around the edge. 
You can see I'm holding that cup while I'm tapping because I don't trust myself. I am a mess maker from way back. So, I, you know, I have, I have made plenty of messes water marbling. There we go. Now we're going to do the same thing. Draw in our little design. And I call this one like the little chevron design. I, you know, it's one I use quite often. It's probably one of my favorites. Looks good on short nails and long nails, so it's a good one. Alrighty. Really happy that I didn't get any air bubbles with this, which can be a problem sometimes with water marbling. I am using a q tip with some acetone to clean up the big stuff that got past my latex barrier, you know, up further than I put the barrier. And then I'm doing just the tiniest bit of cleanup with my cleanup brush and some acetone. Just, you know, tidying up. Because using that latex really keeps it from being just a god awful mess. Trust me, I've done water marbles with nothing on my fingertips and regretted it. Um, but if you don't mind cleanup, you know, just hop on in there. I've also, you know, I used to use tape as my barrier. I would tape around my fingers way back in the day, and that works really well too. I'm topping this one with some Sesh V, because like I said, I thought I was done with this manicure. It looks really pretty, and you guys know I'm, I'm like the overboard queen, so there, I guess the way, what I'm trying to say is when you see me do things like this, remember there are options. There's my swatch photo of it all on its own. I'll be using Queen 58 today, my AliExpress stamper, and my clear jelly scraper, and the Crayola, Crayola Insta-Dry White from the um, Crayola Collection, of course. Sally Hansen. So I am stamping just one nail, because I thought maybe that would be it, but no. But no, she says, because, you know, she can't help herself. I am peeling up some of that extra with some tape. It's coming up really, really well really nice and you know it's not a perfect stamping but it's okay that's pretty good so there we go I put a little bit of that white out on my mat and I'm gonna put some dots over here on the black parts of the water marble and I really wanted smaller dots that's what I saw them saw in my head you know, like that one on the middle one right there. I like that. But, you know, I'm not I'm not very controlled when it comes to things like this. So there we go. We got all dotted up. I am going to use the Born Pretty Smudge Free over the stamping and the dots because I don't want anything to smear. I did let this dry for several minutes before I did this part. Um, I really did not want to smear those dots. See those little bitty dots on the pinky? That's what I was really wanting to go for. But, you know, I get all heavy-handed and carried away. I still do like it. It's still on my nails right now, so, um, as I'm doing the voiceover. I am using the Pro-FX Quick Dry Top Coat again over the top of this. And there we go. Ta-da! I have a swatch photo coming up of this part also. But I would love to hear what you think about this manicure. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.